Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Brent, and today I'm here again with our good buddy Mario. Now, if you saw the Porsche that we did, I'd say about a month and a half ago, then you've already seen this guy on our channel, but he's back again because this guy seems to find every Porsche barn find in Ohio. So, uh, first of all, Mario, um, you have a YouTube channel yourself, so if you guys could do us a huge favor, go over and check out his channel because after this car is done being cleaned up, he's gonna take it uh, to the next steps and get it back on the road, but um, how about you go ahead and tell them a little bit about how you found this thing and what it is. So this actually is a 1973 911T Targa, just like the last 86. This car was sent to me by a couple friends actually. One of my buddies sent it to me and I was like, eh, I don't know if that's real. Kind of seems sketch. It was some random lady that posted on Facebook. Next thing you know, my cousin sent it to me 10 minutes later and I was like, hold on, this is a local about 40 minutes away from us. So I was like, listen, if this is correct and all the info that they put, which was not much, it was probably just a sentence of information, low miles, no rust. And I'm like, if this is legit, you guys better hop on it if you want it. So we actually were able to pull the trigger on it. One person saw it the night after it was posted within like 40 minutes of it being up. He lowballed the guy, the guy said, no thank you. So we actually came first thing the next morning and we're able to acquire this bad boy. And how many years did he say it was sitting in the barn? So it was sitting for at least 22 years. It was parked sometime in the 1990s and the owner owned it for about 35 or more years. So he probably was able to drive it for about 10 years. It had a fuel issue, so it was put in the barn next to some tractors and sat there. I mean, these things are so rare to find and the fact that you've <laughs> somehow yeah, come across Especially <laughs> these long hoods. So this is the last year for the long hoods and the 73s, which is insane. Like I was super surprised and it might end up being a very rare car. Yeah, so without any further ado, we're gonna hop into the detail. Um, if you guys like this kind of content, please make sure to leave a like on the video. It shows us that you guys enjoy this stuff. Again, go subscribe to his channel. We're gonna leave a link to his video that he posted yesterday at the end of our video. So check out his channel, subscribe to him, and Mario, thank you, bro. No problem. Appreciate it, dude. For sure. We're gonna hop right into it. Now taking a quick look over this thing, it had everything that a barn find on our channel usually has with the dust and the dirt covering the exterior. On the interior, we found some mice decided to make a home in there and they left all of their food and whatever they were eating on the floor. So we got to that a little bit later, but this car definitely needed a lot of love and attention. And we're really happy that Mario brought it to us because we love getting to work on super cool cars like this one. And I say that because if you're not a regular viewer of our channel, but you may love Porsches, we have posted a video with Mario about two months ago, like I already mentioned in the intro, and you guys can check that out after this video. I'll leave a link to that in the description below, and you'll see it at the end of this video, where we did a 1986 Targa, and that one was actually missing the Targa top. This one had the Targa top, so we were definitely in luck on this car. Now, I want you guys to do me a quick favor before I ask the question of the video. I want you to go under this video right now, and I want you to see if you're subscribed to our channel because I guarantee there is a very high percentage chance that you are not because most of the people who watch us on our channel are not subscribed. So please take a second and hit the subscribe button. We're trying to make our way to 300,000. But anyways, hopping into the question of the video, leave your answers in the comments below. This one's kind of a fun one and you guys get to use your imagination on it. So let's just set the stage and pretend like you were walking through the woods and you came upon a random barn in the middle of nowhere and you open that barn and your absolute dream car is sitting right in front of you in barn find condition and you get to take it home with you and restore it and make it look brand new just like what we do on our channel now what would that car be leave your answers in the comments below i'm curious what your ultimate dream car you could find inside of a barn would be Now for all of you Porsche guys out there, I asked this question on the last video and I'm going to do it again. If you know the name of these wheels, leave it on the comments below. They are different than the last ones. So I want to test your knowledge and see if you know what they're called.
So we handle the dust on this car a little bit differently, starting with the leaf blower, blowing off any excess dust that we could get off initially. And then we covered the entire car with snow foam and let it sit for probably a good 10 to 15 minutes. And then after that, we were able to rinse off the entire car and it was really satisfying. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Now RJ didn't wait for me to start the camera on this, so we're adding a little bit extra, but we sprayed iron decontamination all over the paint, and this is what it does. It turns the paint purple, and it takes all of the iron out of either the clear coat or the base coat that's rusted into it, and it's really satisfying and cool to see it running down the paint. So we did an entire iron decontamination before moving on with the wash process. And after washing the whole car, we went ahead and foamed it down one last time to act as a lubricant for the clay bars. And we went ahead and clayed the entire car to prep it for the polishing stage. And while the car was still wet, we quickly wanted to give the Targa Top one last good clean. So we used a safety greaser and a very soft brush and cleaned it very well and then sprayed it off after. All right guys, so after doing a little bit of investigation, um, it looks like this car has been repainted on this quarter panel and then blended into 
what I'm assuming is the natural color of the Porsche that was painted, you know, by Porsche at the at the factory. But what's really strange is when we go and check the readings of even, um, you know, the areas that look like it's original paint, they're really, really inconsistent with some spots being over 500 with, which um, can mean that there's, you know, potentially Bondo or uh, some type of bodywork underneath the paint that was done. And what's strange is that as we even go over the whole entire car, the readings still are super inconsistent. So at this point, I'm not sure what's original, what's not original, what the original color was. I mean, you can even tell over here, if you look right under the wing, right on the corner, you can see where the body shop didn't remove all of the texture in the paint or didn't polish up to the edge, which is why this looks a little dimpled while you know what what could be or what you know in my opinion is the original color painted by porsche is not you know the, the texture isn't the same so this was definitely repainted um and i'm not sure if just during this time period that porsche as a manufacturer wasn't um you know didn't spray paint as evenly as they do now if you know you know leave an answer in the comments because um this one's kind of got me stumped it's like a, a frankenstein car so after uh again more inspection we realized that the bumpers are also painted that bright white that that other quarter panel is. And you can tell here with the chipping that they were originally the same color, this kind of like off white or this, this beige color. So it looks like at some point they had the front and back bumper and that quarter panel repainted. And unfortunately they did not color match it. Um, but again, still strange why there's so many different readings on this car. It could just be because of its age or um, maybe they didn't pay attention that much back in the day when they were uh, when they were painting these, so. Now we'll come back to finish up the exterior 100% a little bit later in the video, but now it's time to move on to the interior. So the first thing we always like to do in our videos is pull the seats out and then go ahead and vacuum the carpets. And I mean, it's crazy how good of condition this car was in. And I didn't mention it before, but this car only has 26,000 miles on it. And we weren't hundred percent sure if the odometer was true, but I mean, looking at the condition of the interior and the exterior, we kind of believe it is reading true. So leave some comments below if you guys agree with us that this car probably has 26,000 original miles on it.
All right, guys, we're back with Mario. Just showed up. We told him that the car was ready. A couple days later, here he is to pick it up. He hasn't seen it yet. Uh, when you had seen it in the barn, what was like your expectations? What was the? Did you feel like it was going to clean up really well, or just kind of? To be honest, when I first saw the photos, I was like, if this is the case, it's crazy if it's original paint. So, but there's always a risk. I'm aware of it because I've purchased enough of these, and a lot of people who purchase them the first time have high hopes, and even what they're the, what they cost, they think it's a little bit more. But when you're actually in it, when you're doing it, stuff is you know sometimes less than what you think. So, I mean, I kind of figured it could go both ways. Um, you know, I'll be just how clean it will be will surprise me. But well, we'll see how the paint looks anyways. I mean, in those cars, they, they painted in the 70s, they had a different type of paint than yeah. what they have in these days. So that little difference, it's hard to match. With all well, and what's weird, done. so as we were polishing, we noticed that the whole thing is single stage. So it's really? not base clear, it's, it's all base. So we had paint transfer from, you know, the beige color and also that bright white. So whenever it was repainted, it was back in the day, which, um, it, I, I don't know, it, it really is... Uh, it's it's above my uh, my knowledge. I don't <laughs> I know what the heck they did. Either it. way, it came out great. At least cool. I think so. Yeah, yeah, for so, sure. Without further ado, let's show it. Let's check it out. Jeez, the front definitely looks. I'd say almost the same color. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. No, like I said, it basically is the same color except for that one quarter. So looking at the quality and even how it held up, whenever it was painted, pretty good. We did see this rust bubble before. Mm -hmm. Jeez. That thing is pretty sweet. It's, a, it's like an off-white. I love it. I'm going to go ahead and check off this rear, I guess. Yeah, definitely. That, where it's, uh... Oh, yeah, I can tell, yup. Right here with the door, you can tell. But, I mean, hey, it is what it is. It's been, what, 50-plus-year-old car? It's been stuff like this right. happened. So, I'm assuming that they... Yeah, they found some kind of white, and the blend job was amazing. You can see the blend actually here. Yeah, exactly. It's like eggshell, it's <laughs> all white-white. But, I mean, it cleaned up crazy. And I think they had the wheels painted, too. Yeah, I think I mentioned that with Brent. I'm like, maybe he didn't like the Fuchs or he got these cookie cutters and threw them on with some like silver paint, but. Could have been the winter wheels, who knows. Yeah. Damn. But I don't think it was different in the winter at all because this thing is, is pretty mint. That's, this literally looks like a, like this is something you would get <laughs> reupholstered and it's like brand a brand new Targo. Yeah, I was telling Brent, we got the big ticket item. Sheesh. I mean, this interior was like pretty crispy. And I mean, good thing that, <laughs> The, it, without the miles droppings, it, it's pretty crazy. Like this, this is what makes me more confident in the mileage and oh, everything for else. Sure. Underneath the floors looked good when you guys sent me that video, which is pretty insane. So people really care about these cars being solid and like the foundation, like a foundation of a house as long right. as what it's made up of is solid. This car, like the restoration potential of this car is crazy. So we're gonna do our job to get it running, get it back on the road, clean up what we can, you know, put on some items that aren't original and then, you know, enjoy it for the time being. But whoever's going to take it basically to a concourse car, this is going to be a beautiful base to start off with. Like, there's not going to be crazy patch fans to replace. And do all the uh, uh, serial numbers match? So I took a picture of them last time. I forgot to take a picture of one and I actually didn't even check the front. So that's, it was just, it was pretty crusty down there. So I was like, eh, I'll take a look at it later. As far as I know, based on the guy who sold it to us, everything should be matching. So. Yeah, if they all match the market for this, I mean, especially in the last year or so, it's exactly. gone. Exactly. I mean, it's almost gone up 100%. So which, and they were expensive before. Right, so. and if anyone's watching from my channel, I sold my 73 coupe, and let's just say the guy who is selling it is basically trying to double his money. So that just shows the money that's in these cars. Like he bought it from me and I was happy with the price. I sold it to him and he's doubling that, which is pretty crazy. But like I said, again, I'm, I know the market a little bit as far as I've sold them and bought them and how quick I like to get rid of them and move on. I know the prices. Some people can hold on to them for two, three years and wait till that specific buyer can take it. But for now, I mean, it's definitely a cool car. I love it. Nazar's looking for a Targa and yeah, this thing is sweet. Good job, guys. This is sick. Thank you, man. As always, thank you for bringing all these beautiful Porsches our way. Yeah, there's no other way we guys. have them. So <laughs> yeah, hopefully uh, there's gonna be more to come for sure. Also, if you want to see the full restoration, or at least uh, as far as Mario's gonna take it, check out his channel at Super Ish Mario. Um, Super Ish Mario. Um, you'll see the, all the content of him uh, bringing the sucker back to uh, running condition. And uh, and yeah, without further ado, if you like this video, like, subscribe, and thank you guys for watching.